The amazing thing we call pollination is absolutely essential to sustain life on Earth as we know it. The honeybee is an incredible little pollinator and of course makes lots of delicious honey. But it's only one of 19,000 bee species in the world, most of which don't live in colonies and don't produce honey, but are essential to pollination. Sadly, more than one third of these bee species are facing declines in population and almost 10% are facing complete extinction. But one thing we can easily do is create habitat for these essential little pollinators. I was in the factory and looking at a pile of flow hive offcuts and thought, how can we reuse these? How can we upcycle our waste? So we recut the discarded pieces and turn it into this beautiful western red cedar pollinator house for solitary bees to come and raise their young. In creating habitat, we give these pollinators stepping stones through the urban landscape, building corridors between our wild spaces. If we can give them enough homes, we can bring back some of these important species from the brink of extinction. Not all species nest in a pollinator house like this, there is much more you can easily do. You can make holes in mud for the blue-banded bee, you can drill holes in wood, or you can go to town creating whole pollinator zones in your garden. This is not only a help for the pollinators we depend on, but a learning opportunity for your family and loved ones. We want this to be accessible for everyone, so we've included the tool and the screws and everything you need to put it together. As it's made from upcycled flow hive offcuts, there's only a limited amount ready for the holiday season. It's so important to us to help these little pollinators however we can. So we are donating 100% of profits towards habitat regeneration and protection. Creating habitat is something we can all do. So please spread the word. Let's get out in the garden and create more homes for the unsung heroes of the bee world.